First and ten. Yeah! Here we go! Right there, Steve! Under, under. Cooks going in motion. Dak going to put it up right away. He's got a man. It's C.D. Lamb. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Now a first and ten from the 38-yard line. And on the carry, this is Ezekiel Elliott. He'll get him behind his blockers, get forward for a pickup of three. To Devian Clowney, there in run support. They face second down and seven. Again, here's Zeke. Finding room to the 20. And he's going to get this all the way down to the Cowboys' nine-yard line. A gain of 26, and it sets up first and goal. From the shotgun, it's Dak. And he'll take it in zone. Will not be returned. So it'll come out to the 30. They'll go play action with Young. Probably like he's going to be the tight end right. an even 20 yards mm -hmm. impressive start to this drop <laughs> on play action young a throw on the move is caught these two got it going on 19 on that connection and another first down these crossing concepts are frequently used, Mike, throughout the entire game, all across the league. And what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs. You run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch, and it's exactly how they're able to pick up this big game. Fuck, I'm gonna be crying for in my goddamn room. Ready, ready. They'll come up here. First and ten. Now the first carry for Miles Sanders. And the defense, good job sticking to their rules. They didn't take their eyes off the running back, who gains nothing. Defensive coaches preach every day, Mike, swarm to the ball. Get as many hats to the ball carrier as possible. And this is a great reason why. The ball carrier is able to make the first guy miss, but it was the pursuit from the rest of the defense that's able to get him down and keep him to no gain. They'll try again here. Second and ten. They will it's, not uh, get Chuba this cover. It'll be a delay of game. Nah, Chuba Hubbard the starter. No, I can fuck fucked up. <coughs> a second down throw for Young. Secured by the veteran Adam Thielen. 
may not have moved the chain, but with what they were dealing with there on second down, that's a really nice pickup because now it opens up your play call sheet again as we hit third down. Out of the shotgun, Young. He's got his man complete to Johnson. He's going to pick up the first down and more. And he will get into the end zone. Deontay Johnson. Touchdown, Panthers. And what a response by this offense. It's not easy taking the field, Mike, for the first time in the game. And you find yourself already down a score. They watch their opponent kind of march down the field and score on the opening possession. And they're able now to go out and square it on up. Allows you to take a deep breath. Maybe get a little confidence for your defense to go out and get a stop. Now it's a fake. They'll flip it to the kicker. This is caught. And he's got 28 yard line. I just eat the Chinese food. I'm going to eat the first and ten. The drive starts with a run, and it's Elliott. And he'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. We'll try again. Yeah, I'm just happy about food. Take your ass on for it. is that. A pass caught by the veteran. That's Brandon Cooks. I get the skin rain in the midfield. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. And he'll manage to get this ahead for a pickup of five. They'll break the line with a second wave. Straight ahead, it's Elliott. Only a couple on that one. It'll set up third down. <laughs> Operating from the gun, here's Dak. That is caught. Hooks gets the ground. Two receptions for him on this drive. This one, good for 16 yards. I'd like to see them do a better job here the rest of the game, Mike, just disguising the coverage from the pre-snap look to the post-snap look. And what I mean is, when you have a quarterback at this level, and what they see before the ball's in their hands is the exact same thing they see once they do get the ball, everything is just so much easier for them to process. Change the look, change the coverages, move your safeties. Make the quarterback have to process with the ball yeah. in his hand. You need a free play. Complete, but it looked like that defender got a head start. Let's check the call. Don't have again. On second down, it's Dak. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by Xavier Woods. And the Panthers are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. Every defensive coordinator, Mike, in the NFL preaches one thing about red zone defense. Keep them out of the end zone. Make them settle for three. Well, what do they do? With that interception, they take it to another level, and they get off the field without allowing a single point. Three tight ends in the game to start the drop. 
The motion man is Sanders. His drive will start on the ground. Nice job finding the seam. Gain of about nine. Just a yard short of that first down. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's once he gets going. Second and a yard. They'll run here. The former Canadian track star, Chuba Hubbard, will take it. And he's taken down, but just shy of midfield. Two minutes to play in a tight one-point game in this first half. Oh, I'll take Philly play, dude. Back to Arlington and at and Stadium after this. Oh, took the wildcat out. A couple of first downs, and the football's out to the 48-yard line as they come up first and 10. Off the play fake. Here's Young. Oh, in trouble. Down he goes. And now we're seeing the game kind of go back and forth. Each team trading blows, trying to establish control over the other. Nice chunk play on the previous play. The defense responds back with a sack and we're going to see which team can establish a little bit more of this control as the game unfolds. On second down, Young. And that's going to be incomplete. Oh, this shit was good yeah. that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock. Catch your breath, get back in the huddle, and this next play, it's got to be a gotta-have-it best play call. And this is going to be in. In this case, it falls incomplete, but if they continue to get that matchup, this quarterback's not going to shy away from giving his big tight end a shot. No move for the punt team. The offense staying out there for fourth down. They'll go. Young. That's oh, fuck him, dude. Picked off by Eric Hendricks. And he is yard line. Here's first and ten. Off the play pick, he'll look to throw. He's going to look for the home run ball. Jatavian Sanders was the intended receiver. And it'll bring up second down. So this quarterback going to bounce back following the pick six. And you know, a lot of guys come back and they're very conservative and they just want to dink and dunk because they're scared to throw another pick. Well, we found out pretty quickly. Not this guy. He's going to continue to attack the ball downfield and he's looking to make big plays any chance he gets. The whole idea of the play-action pass, Mike, is that you can slow the pass rush down enough that it allows longer, slower developing pass concepts to open up downfield. But in this case, they were on him so fast that by the time he got his head around, that ball needed to come out. There was no timing and ultimately led in an incompletion. Well, it's pretty clear the main reason why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the inefficiency of this offense. And Primarily out of the quarterback position, to complete less than half of your pass attempts, it just makes it very hard to compete at a high level consistently in the NFL. And they want to find themselves having any chance of getting back into this game and winning this one. He's going to have to get a lot better with the ball. On fourth down, Young. That is caught. He finds his big target again. They convert with a gain of 15. 
And this is why most teams, Mike, decide to take the ball first after the halftime break because they want to be able to control this middle four. At the end of the first half, you can use your timeouts. You can use some strategy to steal an extra possession. If they're able now to go down and come away with points, they'll have a chance mm -hmm. to double it up again right after the halftime break. Give them 12 on that one. They are on the march. Another yeah. first down. Good job. So you get the win tonight. What is wrong with you? I am not on mute. I'm going to... <laughs> get that get out of my face. Go somewhere. From the gun. It's Do something with yourself. <laughs> on the right side and corralled by Felix. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. Eat the buckle. I hear it is. <laughs> <of seven yards. laughs> now it's wrong. In this first half. Motherfucker got no filter. Talk. Throwing on second down. Young. Open man downfield. It's Leggett. And they're going to be set up right around the 10 yard line. Really nice answer to the previous drive from this quarterback. You want to play at this league and you want to play for a long time? You better have a short term memory because mistakes are going to happen. Really nice job here bouncing back, putting together a promising drive. And. He's open to come away with a touchdown of his own. Young to throw on first down. That's caught. It's Miles Get the fuck Sanders. out of here, bro. And he's like going to be taking dumbass animation, man. On this first half for play. They gonna pull him. This motherfucker game so ass, man. This fucking on football game, bro. This time the 21. It's first and 10. Now, faking the give. And he'll just get rid of this. Smart play to throw it away. And that'll set up second down. On play action, he'll set up the throw. As he throws and it is incomplete, just couldn't deliver that one the way he wanted to. Not really sure if there was much there anyways. We do know it'll be third down. I think the biggest issue and why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the ups and downs of this passing game. And sometimes he's highly accurate and efficient, but at others, he just misses too many easy throws. The question is, are they going to be able to overcome this quarterback inconsistency and pull this game out. A throw left side, gonna be intercepted. Picked off by That's Jordan so Lewis. So cool. And he's gonna be brought down. What a turn of events here. He has given his guys first and 10 in the red zone. Well, Mike, I think it's pretty clear what the message was by this head coach at halftime. He said, listen, guys, we're behind. We're trailing. We're gonna come out early in this second half and be aggressive from the get-go and cut into this deficit. But oftentimes, reckless decision-making, <clears throat> over-aggressive play calling leads to turnovers. Now, this defense finds themselves heading back out onto the field a little earlier than expected, but they need to hold serve and keep this score right where it is. Here's second and six. That is Ferguson in motion. They'll stick with Elliott. And he'll get this ahead. Gain of about four. And it leads to third down. That is Ferguson in motion. Hand off here to Zeke. And he's into the end zone. Ezekiel Elliott. Touchdown, Dallas. He had the touchdown catch earlier. This time, he takes it in on the ground. Create those sudden change situations, Mike. Absolutely. You have to take advantage of it. One second, you're sitting on the bench going over your next drive. All of a sudden, after that turnover, you've got to be able to get out on the field, <coughs> take advantage of the short field, and results in a nice touchdown. A shotgun snap for Prescott. And that is incomplete. 
set to go now on first and ten. Throwing is Young. Looking left side is tight end Tremble. Not every pass has to be thrown downfield. You can rely on the run after catch, especially a big body like this tight end. Get the ball in his hands early and let him pick up the rest after the catch. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. Here's Young. There's a short one caught by Sanders. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. To throw, Young. That's complete. It's Sanders. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. A second down throw for Young. Throw left side, but that's going to be incomplete. He was seeking out the veteran Adam Thielen that time. And it's going to be third down. Back to throw. Young. That's made. Right side. It's Johnson. He had their lone touchdown of the game earlier, and he comes through with the catch and a first down in this spot. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. On first down is Young. That is brought in at the 10. And he gets marked out of bounds, but inside the five-yard line. A big play and a much-needed one as well. 36 yards. He pulls it in around the five. To the pylon, he's in. Adam Thielen. Touchdown, Carolina. Greg, sometimes we say it too often. That was an important drive. That one really felt important for them to edge a little bit closer. Yeah, now the question is, Mike, yeah, the offense continue to get the ball back to their offense. Let them build on that previous drive because they've still got some work to do. They'll run with Brooks. And he will find the end zone. The two-point height game, and he takes a big shot there on that return. So first and 10 now, they'll start from the 22. Prescott. Nowhere to go, he is taken down. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Now Prescott. Now he throws back over the middle. It is complete. So, three quarters now in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Third and long. Throwing is Prescott. And that is incomplete. When you get the ball in this situation, what you're looking to do is not only end the drive with a touchdown to put the game away, but you'd love to chew up some clock. So with that incomplete pass now likely putting an end to this series, that's a big opportunity for them to try to close this game out. Fourth down, here's Dak. That's down the field for Lamb. And that is not going to work. Incomplete, and they turn it over on downs. You know, more often than not in the NFL, games are won based on who wins critical downs. Well, that fourth down attempt right there was exactly that, and this defense came up huge 
for a big time fourth down stop. A gain of four as he's taken down. Here's a second and six. They'll run here. Maybe a couple there. It's third down. Play action. Young. He's got his big tight end. Jatavion Sanders. Touchdown, Panthers. What a game this has been back in four yard line. So they come to the line for first down and ten. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll take this past the 30. A gain of six. Mark it at the 31. They'll come up now for second down and four. They'll stick to the ground. And he's up past the 35. Got a first down. <coughs> Put him down at the 37. the way you want to run it on first down a gain of seven here's second down and three they'll run Zeke up the middle he gets close to the yellow line tackle made at the 46 now a big third down They'll drop to throw. Oh, the pressure too much. He goes down. The Panthers will take their first timeout as they'll discuss what's to come as fourth down is looming. Anytime you bring pressure like that, Mike, you're counting on getting to the quarterback before you get beat downfield. The vulnerability of that play call is in your pass coverage, but when you can get home and get to the quarterback that fast, the offense never has a chance to stress your coverage. And that is incomplete. They had their chance. They took it there. Look, they're trailing late. Got to let it fly. This will wind up a turnover on downs. You fail. But now you can't give up. Your defense has to go out there and get a stop. You have all three timeouts. You have time to get the ball back. Oh, he's hit behind the line, and the ball is out. This juncture of the game. That boy just dropped the ball. Able to cradle it, and they keep possession. Yeah, yeah. These are the opportunities that just kill defensive coordinators. You got the ball loose. You did everything you want. But now you got to recover it. You need better pursuit to the ball. More bodies around the ball carrier. Because when that ball pops out, you've got to be on it. These opportunities don't come around often. And when they do, you got to seize the moment. He's taken down behind the line. By keeping the ball on the ground. But now the question remains, are they willing to take some risk here and put the ball in the air on third down? Or do they play it safe and keep running the clock by keeping the ball on the ground? third down they'll set up to throw and this is going to be incomplete that's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively setting up a fourth down so on a day where he's completed give or take half of his passes mike you have to imagine there's a handful of throws he'd like to have back and i think that last one falls in that category but the biggest thing and most fortunately for them they find themselves with the lead despite a bit of an up-and-down performance out of their quarterback. They'll go. Young. And he cannot get the throw off. He's going to be sacked. And 
they will turn it over on down. You give your offense a chance to close this game out. If they pick up the first down, this game is over. But now, after the defensive stop, we're starting to see some signs of life on that other sideline. A throw left side, but it's incomplete. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, like, at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. And that could be the dagger. It's intercepted. And his offense is going to be all set up with a short field and a chance to extend their lead. It's not often, Mike, that everything breaks right for this type of return off of an interception. But, boy, is it beautiful when it does. I mean, look at the defenders just flip around and become blockers, trying to spring their guy to the house. Great athleticism, some great moves on his part. I mean, he's going to have some of his offensive teammates looking over their shoulder for their position. It'll be first and goal after a pickup of 27. Now they'll pitch it out here. They'll come up with nothing there. Fortunate just to get back to the line. And that'll set up second and goal. They'll go with him again. He's going to lose yardage here, taken down back at the eight-yard line. When you can get this level of run support out of your secondary, Mike, man, what an advantage for any defense. This defensive back clearly reads run, gets off his block, and he's able to take down the back for a loss of yards. A third down, they'll run, and here comes the reverse. And that is not going to work out as planned. <coughs> a tough spot to try to run a play like that. Either way, it's blown up back behind the line of score. Let's go. Ready? Here we go. One final play. That's going to be caught. And they are going to add six more here at the end. Stay tuned for the coach's handshake. It might not be the friendliest. That late touchdown extends the margin of victory here on the game's final play. So this one a win for the visiting Panthers. They proved much the best in this one. To get a solid performance in all three phases of the game and ride that to victory. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. So long, everybody. PlayStation.